What's up guys? Welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. I'm starting a new series of platformer tutorials, and in this part we will be coding the bulk of the platformer physics that I have been developing for the past couple of days. In the coming videos, we will be exploring player animation, wall jumping, control jumping, obstacles, etc. Let's get straight into it! Okay. Start off by dragging a when green flag clicked block and a forever loop under it. Now, create two variables and call them xvel and yvel. Make sure to click for this sprite only. Next, go to my blocks and create a block. Call it platformer physics, speed, friction, and jump height. Make sure to tick the run without screen refresh block. Now, drag in the block we just created and place it in the forever loop. Type in 1, 0 0.9, and 10. You can adjust these values later. Next, what we're going to do is, if key right arrow pressed, change xvel by speed. Duplicate that script and change it to, if the key left arrow pressed, change xvel by speed times negative 1. Then, set xvel to xvel times friction. Lastly, change x by xvel. As you can see, our player can now move smoothly, as if there was friction. Now we will code in the vertical movement. Drag in a change yvel by negative 1 to the top of our script. This will be our gravity. Next, we are going to code the slope detection which will allow us to go up slopes, but stop at a wall. If touching level, then change Y by 1. Now we are going to duplicate the script 8 times. Why 8? Well. This will allow us to go up a slope that is 8 pixels steep, but it will stop at any slope greater than 8 pixels high. Now, follow along very carefully for this part. Duplicate our script one more time, and type in change y by negative 8. This means that if we are still touching the level after increasing our y position by 8 pixels, we are going to go back to our original y position and collide with the wall. We are going to repeat until not touching level. Change x by absolute value of xvel divided by xvel times negative 1. Absolute value basically changes whatever xvel is into a positive number. So if xvel is 5, the absolute value of 5 would be 5 because 5 is a positive number. Then we divide it by 5 times negative 1, giving us 1. And if xvel is negative 5, absolute value of negative 5 would be 5, divided by negative 5 times negative 1, giving us 1. This will give us perfect collision with the walls, unlike some other commonly used platformer script. After the repeat until loop, we will set xvel to 0. That's actually optional, but I like to do it because if you walk towards a wall in real life, you stop rather than keep on trying to walk into it. I don't know about you, but that's what I do. Next, we are going to code in the gravity. Change Y by YVEL. Now the variable YVEL is affecting our Y position. As you can see, our player does not have ground collision yet, 
so he just goes through the ground. Before we continue, make sure to set the xvel and yvel variables to zero before the forever loop. Now, we can use the same technique we used for our wall collision to make our ground and ceiling detection. Let's duplicate our script from above and paste it in a new if touching level block. We'll change the variables to yvel and swap the change x by block for the change y by block. So you see now, after we make the player go to the middle, our script works perfectly. It has good slope detection, collides with walls well, and doesn't go through the ground. Finally, we will code in the jumping script. If key up arrow pressed and touching level, set Y bell to our jump height, which is 10. Congrats, you're done! Okay, that was a joke. If you try jumping right now, you can't. This is because we are currently not touching the level. We are actually one pixel above the ground because of our collision script. Well, there is a common loophole used by many scratchers, and it is to change our Y position by negative one, check if we are touching the level, then change our Y position by one. The good thing is, not only does it allow us to jump, it doesn't affect our ground collision at all. Thanks for watching! Stay tuned for part 2 of this tutorial series where we will be refining our code and adding in wall jumping. Like, subscribe, and scratch on.